Hello, listeners and viewers. This is Trevor for Literary Gladiators. Today I'm giving you a little book review on an anthology of science fiction called Galaxy, The Best of My Years, edited by James Ben. Now, the interesting thing about this is it's not the soft science fiction like you see in Star Wars or Star Trek. It's more of the hard edge science fiction, the stuff that's all grounded in science fact, you know, stuff like Arthur C. Clarke, Ray Bradbury, Isaac Asimov, incidentally, Isaac Asimov's included on this one, giving a little in introduction or an introspective on the way things were at the time this was published and giving an idea of how the world could change for the better. Now, some of the other artists and writers included on this work include, I'm sure you're familiar with some of these names, Ursula K. Le Guin, Larry Niven, Paul Anderson, Fred Saberhagen, Roger Zelazny, and John Varley, who incidentally wrote one of my favorite works, and the one included on this one, Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. So that's right, dear viewers, you're getting a two for one today. Overdrawn at the Memory Bank is a little neurological science fiction story about a disgruntled computer programmer, in short, a desk jockey, who puts his head into virtual reality only to find that through a freak accident, he can't get back out again. So he has to make do the best he can and, well, how does he cope with it? Well, the best thing to do is check out the story by John Varley, Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. Incidentally, this was also made into a made-for-TV movie featuring Raw Julia back in the 80s. This movie was done for public television, and, well, it wasn't exactly received very well by some of the critics, and was outright riffed on by Mystery Science Theater 3000. Much as I like the show, I can't help but wonder if it had promise, the overdrawn at the memory bank. But, all kidding aside, I really think that you'll love this anthology, Galaxy, The Best of My Years. I don't think it's very well much in print, so your best chance of finding it is at a yard sale or a used bookstore, or swapping it with people online if you know anybody who's into good hard science fiction. And if you like Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, the, the story, and you want to see more of the, the video, you can find it on YouTube. Link to be provided in the comments section. Frederick Pohl, one of the authors on this anthology, was very well known for his satire on commercialism and consumerism, and this pretty much irked James Bain to no end. And John Varley, the author of Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, whilst many people would think that he actually, he, Varley was discovered by Bain, Bain denies actually taking credit for that one and gives the uh, credit instead to Ed Furman. What, far, what, what Bain did do was just publish some stories by, by Varley. Ursula K. Le Guin basically just... She could do some good kid stories and grown-up stories. And sad thing about... It's kind of sad. Ursula, we lost Ursula Le Guin recently, and I really have to see and read more of her works outside of Cat Wings. I freely admit, I'm a sucker for that series. Ursula, here's to you, wherever you are in literary heaven. Larry Niven was known for his known space series, and... Much like another James Bain contemporary, Spider Robinson, who is sadly not included in this anthology, Niven is known for being quite an inveterate punster himself. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of writers for James Bain's Years in Galaxy were known for puns, and I'm going to make a wild guess and assume that quite a few of them got together every now and then to throw puns back and forth and have little contests, and this is presumably what inspired Spider Robinson to include Pun Day Night in his Callahan's Cross Time Saloon series, but that's another story. Matter of fact, it's another series of books altogether. Fred Saberhagen is known for his Berserker series, 
numerous entries in the series. I still haven't read any of those yet. I'll have to at some point or another. Until next time, dear viewers and listeners and readers, keep reading.